Okay, friends, I have 10 plus ideas today that we're going to be using from Dollar Tree items to make some pumpkins. So you guys will not want to miss this. I'm going to show you all the items I'm going to be pulling from. So hopefully you can find some of them from your local store. Jump on and say hello. But what we're going to get started with first is if you happen to see one of these little wreath forms, you can grab your burlap of your choice. This one we can make into a farmhouse and you can just wrap the circle in the burlap. And then once you're done with that, simple and easy. If you can't find any th thick wood sticks um, at your craft store, then just use one of these. Glue it at the top to make it look like the stem coming from the top here. We'll show you my friends. I got lots of stuff of ideas in here. Hello, Debbie. Hello, friends. So anyhow, you would make this come up to the top like so, and it would make it look like it's a stem at the top. Then in addition to that, after you wrap it in your burlap, you can just use some very simple floral, either if you love the sunflowers, use that and go on each side. Or if you wanna do it on one side, you can do that. But it would just go here and it would go on the other side. I'll pull that out of my buggy for a second. And then you've got yourself a cute little pumpkin wrapped in some burlap and you can put that at the very top of it. Okay. If you don't like that one, you like more of the farmhouse neutral colors, which sunflowers are also farmhouse neutral. Then you can go with this pretty neutral sunflowers that we have out. Now I'm going to show you a shabby chic idea too, which is super cute, but y'all throw some TLC out there. Let people know about these ideas. And also because you want to keep them for yourself later because we never know what Facebook, but anyhow, like that. So imagine that just wrapped in the burlap, a cute stem added to the top and you have voila, a cute, adorable little pumpkin that you can hang on your front door as a little wreath, right? Simple, easy, less than five bucks. That's what we like, right? Hello, Joanne. How are you love? Okay. One of my absolute favorites that I came up with so far. Let me put all this stuff down here because I plan on getting some of this to make some outdoor wire pumpkins this year. I'm doing some wire pumpkins again. So if you can find these wire pumpkins, they're coming back in this year. I want to grab two of them. I still have my other one that I absolutely love that I have my shabby chic fabric bows on. You'll connect them with either some twisty ties or some of the... Um, I forgot what they call those. You guys know what I'm talking about. They connect it together. That way on the inside, you can put some smaller little um, pumpkins, which I'm going to show you where they are with a candle. But at the top, if you want shabby chic, watch how pretty all these colors are. And they are at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed this pretty kind of lilac purplish color. But let me show you the rest of these florals. So you can go with... The purple leaves, shabby chic. Do some cream leaves in there with it, shabby chic. Now this is gonna be at the very top of your pumpkin, keep in mind. Go with these antique looking sunflowers, sprinkle that in there, okay? Thank you, it's a zip ties, exactly. And if you have some ideas about how you would like to see it, just chime in and th throw in your ideas as well. Then you're gonna use some of these with that beautiful mulberry color. So that'll be sprinkled in there as well. Okay, so, so far we have one, two, three. We have four, four different colors that's gonna be in there, including the purple, okay? Then you're going to sprinkle in, look how gorgeous, look how gorgeous. All of that looks together. And then you can also put a little bit of this eucalyptus with these creams in there. So shabby chic. Then what you can do is grab their lace ribbon and you can use that to tie a beautiful little bow that can hang down from the top down. Okay. Love it. I think I do. But let me add some other things in here that I'm about to go show you. So at the bottom, what you want to do when you have all of those pretty colors is we're going to go over and show you what color pumpkins that you're probably going to need because they have them in stock. 
Okay. And if you also want to embellish it, grab some of these wood leaves and you can add some of those in there with it too. That would be super pretty. But all of these colors, you can also, let me add this. This purple would be an addition, a lovely addition, watch, that would hang down. Oh my heavens, throw me some hearts if you love that. Super pretty. So guess what? This girl's gonna be making herself a shabby chic pumpkin. Yeah, with all those colors right there. All right, so if you happen, y'all need to be praying that we don't get rained out today because we have some really bad storms coming in. So at the bottom, what you can do to cascade this to make it look really pretty along with that lace ribbon I showed you, is you can get some of these pretty pink pumpkins. You're gonna insert those down in the middle, okay? We're gonna do this right here so you girls can see this. So put in some of the pink. Get this pretty taupe color. Different textures, girls. We don't need all the same. So there's your pretty taupe pumpkin that you can put in there with it too. Okay. You can change up your stems. You don't have to keep them the color if you don't like them. All right, so we got a pink. We got a purple, we got a taupe. Now let's see what other colors. Um, they don't have the plastic light up pumpkins yet. Let's see what colors they have down here. They have kind of a grayish color. This one would probably, that one would look really good. Yep, look, see the colors? So you can mix that pumpkin in there with it. So adding those three pumpkins in there right now. So you want to do odd numbers. So if you want to do those three pumpkins, you can do in there with a light. All right, I'm just trying to arrange it the best I can inside this buggy and it's not the best. Um, you can also add some of these textures up here. A little bit of these, you're going to spread them apart, which would look really pretty. Okay, and then let's go around because I want to show you the rest of the pumpkins that are over here that you can add to this. Maybe sprinkle in some of the smaller. Hey, bud. Oops, could you pick that up? I just pulled out the whole thing. My son's with me. You can add these pretty little pink pumpkins that you can put at the top here. Look how lovely that looks, girls. That is like super, super pretty. And then in addition to that, you can get some of these cute little silver ones that are velvet. Put those down in here with those right in here. Okay. And then you can also invest in getting some small pink ones to go down in there with that. And look how pretty. Clay, come here for a second. The ladies want to say hi. Y'all hang on a second. Clay's got his shirt on. First of all, show him your shirt. Look how tall. This is our event. Show him the front. Now give him a cute smile. I'm going to get this one. I'm wearing yours right now. <laughs> you might be. <laughs> Hold on. Yep, you're wearing mine. It's okay. We have two larges though. Anyhow, y'all say hello to him. Clay, come here. He's walking away. <laughs> He's visiting with the employees, y'all. They know us too well. <laughs> they know us too well. <laughs> Anyhow, he is a handsome young man. I'm gonna finish up with these Dollar Tree pumpkin ideas that flew off my head because there's so many of them. I don't want you guys to miss out, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we got the shabby chic. Now I'm gonna warn you in advance, we are taking the shabby chic items home because I'm gonna be making the shabby chic pumpkin. So yes, I will be taking that home so you girls can see it. Um, okay, another idea, if you haven't seen it on my page that you can make a cute little quick pumpkin with, grab these sponges over in the bathroom hygiene area 
you only need two of them. You need one for the center, and then you're gonna cut one down the middle, and then you're gonna attach it on each side. Okay, it's gonna be like this. Half of that one's gonna be in the back side, the other half is gonna be on the other side. And you have an adorable, cute little pumpkin. Seriously, you do. And then with that, you can just add some small sprays of look like this right here at the very top with a stem. And it's a farmhouse and it's gorgeous. Like, seriously gorgeous, right? <sighs> and then let's do some more. So there's three pumpkins ideas. Ready? This one I think is going to be absolutely really fun to do and I'm going to try it. Let me pick up my, my ribbon. If you pick up one of these wreath makers, better yet, pick up one of these because they're coming out at our store. It's a 3D wreath form. You're only going to need one of them, okay? So you're going to take the one off like this. You're going to unravel your bath um, sponge. As you unravel it and stretch it out, you're going to um, string it through your wreath and it's going to go all the way around. So you're going to probably need about five or six of these, but they're going to go all the way around the wreath. They're not going to be bunched up like this. Okay, I'm just giving you an idea. So we're all the way around the wreath and it's going to look very farmhouse looking. So when you're done, then you can add, look at this, garnish the very top of it with these beautiful florals, with these tones right here. And look how so pretty that would be. Okay, so there's idea number four. Number five, I did it in my bathroom last year, is you can just take a spongy, so in your bathroom if you want to decorate it for fall, you can add a little wood stem from the outside right at the very top. And then you can take some green little floral like this, something smaller if you want to, even with these little leaves. And you can go on each side of it with some small floral. Um, let's see if there is any right here beside me that I could show you. I don't see any right beside me. Let's go down and look. Better yet, watch this. If you need a stem for that, cut one of these and attach it to the top and make your stem from that little pumpkin. And then grab some of the, just grab a couple of these leaves. You don't need any very many, maybe this one. And then you can just put a couple of little leaves on each side and you have something very neutral and you can put that in your bathroom with some pretty little potpourri. So there's idea, I believe that one's number six for pumpkins. Also, if you wanna do shabby chic, I found these. So the same thing except for using the cream color, alternate the blue with the pink going around the wreath, okay? So it would be blue and pink, blue and pink, because you can do that for also fall, another blue and pink, but we might have to alternate some white in there because I don't think there's enough of them unless you find another small wreath form, then you could do that. And then with those, you can use um, probably, probably the blue. I think the blue would probably look nice with that one. So you could do the blue colors and some of the mauve colors with that one too. And then there is another pumpkin idea. Here you go. Those two colors look good together. Yeah, absolutely, Tina. Okay, then another idea. You can color these as well, whatever color you want. Make these into a cute little pumpkin. Add something at the very top, some cute little embellishments. That's one, but it also it looks like a Santa, so you can make that look like a snowman. I think we're on number seven idea now. Um, 
This one I've made into a pumpkin already. So that's number eight. You just embellish it with some greenery up here. This one, you can paint it. It's really another odd shape. Add a wood stem to the top of it. Do some cute embellishments up to the top of that one. There's number nine for a pumpkin. Number 10, you can do some stenciling inside of this one, or you can do like what they have over, where did I see that? I don't think it, well, yes I did. Maybe it's over here or it's, it might be at the other store. I think it's at the other store. Anyhow, they, here it is. This one, they made look like a pumpkin. So you can do the same thing with this one here and do some embellishments at the top if you find this one, okay? So I think there's number 10. All right, let's go with number 11 is you can take this one and this one. So you can have a standing pumpkin that's oblong, rectangle shape. Another pumpkin, you would add the stem right here, add the stem right here and let's see see how it looks like similar to that one being tall and slender that's kind of like what you're going to go for with this tall and slender except you can add two you can add a stem and again for the stem you can find the jute rope right here look <laughs> y'all i'm not good stuff out of the buggy you can add this right here to the stem, another stem right here, and then use some of the floral that I've talked about and make a cute pumpkin. Okay, ready for more? This one right here, you can fill this up and paint it, make it look rustic. I've done it with a snowman face, but you can make this into cute little pumpkins on each, if you wanna do each one you can do it that way as well where it stands up and it's 3d out of some material so if you find any of their cute material that they have over here okay or you can even take these cute little pumpkins put some moss in the very bottom or if you want to make fabric um, pumpkins you can do it that way too get the pumpkin fabric that you like you can make them and just stuff them with paper bags if you don't have anything stuff them with some cotton balls whatever it is tie it at the very top of it embellish it and then use this again for the stem of the pumpkin and rest this up and then you can hang it in such a way just make sure your base has like some moss in there and some greenery i think that's number 11. i might be on 12. that's 12 i'm sorry um i already showed you this one all right, another cute idea I did for pumpkins last year was these, and I put it in my kitchen. So you can add a stem in the very middle of it, some simple greenery. This is less than a five minute DIY on this one, girls, so simple. And you can put it by your kitchen sink or give them out as gifts, especially if you have friends that have birthdays or special occasions like in October or fall, and add a couple of little greenery stems in there with some scented fall uh, candles and scents. It's really cute. You just wanna fluff it up to look more like a pumpkin. So I just squished it a little more until it formed into a pumpkin. So there's a uh, 13, okay. Ah, 14, if you find these, you can either make it a tall slender pumpkin by itself, which is cute, or you can connect all three of them together and you can make a cute country pumpkin that way. A country pumpkin pumpkin, y'all. And add a stem right here in the center. Again, using the jute if you wanna do that. That would definitely cute be farmhouse and rustic. You can even stain it if you want to, or add some materials, okay? Okay, I think there's number 14. 15, if you find these, again, use this as your stem or some other wood. Karen, that's funny. And then if you wanted to with these, you could do the same exact thing. You can 
take two of these, oops, and I'm trying to do it from inside my buggy. It can make a completely different look. So you would layer them and they would look like that. So that would be another cool pumpkin. You would put the stem right here. So you could do that with this one being a different pumpkin. So I think that's number 15 or 16. Oh, lots of them. And these bows might be too big for that, but you could probably use it really for the wire wreath. And again, if you can't find the jute for a nice stem for your pumpkin, then use some of these squash or gourds that you see in these cute little packets. And you can also use these pretty floral traditional colors if you like them. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's any. I didn't see these last time, so here's some with acorns. If you're wanting to make a fall tree, this is really cute. And then the, here's another one. So I just gave you like, and then if you want to, you can even stencil on some of them. And then look at this one. They didn't have this one out last week. So this would be a really cute idea. Watch this. If we're gonna make a pumpkin out of that one, then in the very center of it, we can just stencil the word pumpkin <clears throat> on the very center one going right down. That would be really adorable. Okay, go ahead. Um, some other ideas that they have here, these are sentimental stickle stickers. So on the round surfaces that I showed you, which we can also go over and look at their um, frames that they have, this would be really cute to put like in the center of them. Like, oh, this one right here, definitely. Like it says, hello, pumpkin. That would be super adorable to do. Oh my gracious. So I just gave you like 16 different ideas to do with these pumpkins, girls. And don't forget this one too. <sighs> but look at all of the other new stuff that has come out. <clears throat> so they have all these new florals and these also would be great for embellishing for the top of the pumpkins. So if you like any of these traditional colors, you can grab those. I like some of them in neutrals. The burgundy would look great with the shabby chic colors. So look at this, this is brand new. That is super pretty. So we could, if you're gonna do some of the shabby chic colors with that blue and mauve, this would be really pretty to mix in there with it. Um, and look at, look at that. So, that's gonna be really pretty to put in there. I'm gonna have to get busy getting some DIYs done, y'all. Really busy. See, they put it with uh, some of these colors, but they look good with also the pretty neutral colors. We have lots of more florals that they have brought in too. These are really pretty to add into, the smaller ones. And then look, they have some of the traditional berry colors. And then this greenery is also really, especially for the farmhouse style, is perfect to grab to embellish the top of your pumpkins with. You loving these? Loving how pretty these are. So what colors, if you're doing blues, what colors are you mixing with your blues? I'm just curious. Are you mixing any other colors with them? Like see this purple mulberry color? That would be perfect for a shabby chic. But this is perfect for farmhouse, which girls, I love both. I seriously do. And here's some more of those blues. So I did pick up a few of those I'm planning on doing something with. Orange? Really? You would mix your blues and your oranges together? It'd have to be a certain kind of orange for me, because I'll be honest, I don't like it with like the, the traditional orange. I don't like it with that. Let's see, like, see, I don't like it with that orange. That's just me. Now I can do it with that one. That kind of orange right there I can, but it looks like it's picking up several tones is why. That one I can do it. I think that looks really, that looks pretty together. But I don't like it next to this one. Yeah, or this one. Well, the rust color's not too bad. 
not too bad, but they are kind of pretty and they're different and they don't have very many of them because they are brand new and different. So I did grab a few. A light peach. I would say a light peach color would definitely be better. So maybe more like this color. Yeah, definitely more like that color. Okay, so here's some more pretty greenery. Look at this, y'all. So these could be nice. Like this would be nice to add into some shabby chic or farmhouse because they have the green and the mauve purple colors to it. So it's not like, and see how nice they look with that color. Those colors together look beautiful. You can even get away with using them at Christmas time too. Now this is all sparkly, glittery, gets everywhere my husband would not like. And then they don't, they look pretty nice with these colors too. See, look how nice they look with these colors. Loving those colors together. They're super pretty. They're not too bad with that one either. So I hope that you guys love all the pumpkin ideas. I mean, that's what a lot of you were asking, but there was something I need to ask you about. I wanted to make a bathtub with this. So what do you think I need to use for the legs on this to make it a bathtub? I'm trying to look around and see if I can find anything. So I need some, I need y'all to chime in and tell me. Cause so I'm looking at some of their, their smaller, these I didn't want to use because I, they were too small. They were too small of a cube, but I didn't want to use those. Oh, look what else has come in that's brand new. They got some tiger cheetah print and some zebra print, which those would make some cute little pumpkins if you love that style. And they have, um, look, they have cheetahs, they have uh, tropical birds on them. They're really adorable. The wood beads, I'm gonna have to go look and see what kind of wood beads I can find because what I'm looking for is not, not anywhere around here. Let me get my buggy out of the way because I have a big load. Okay. Any claws? I don't see. We'll, we'll, we'll go check. Knobs? Knobs might be an idea. We'll check and see if we find anything here. Jinga blocks? No, I didn't want to go with Jinga blocks because they are too squared. Not the colors I was looking for. Um, I was wanting to have something that had a little bit more of a leg to it. If they had some Christmas trees out, these might work. So if I flip these upside down, If I do it like that, see what that looks like. Those are mushrooms. That might look better. What do you girls think? I can put those on the corner and I can either flip it where, the round top is touching the middle or that one's touching the bottom. A whisk apart? Mm, no. Yeah, these might be crystals. Uh, some of their crystal knobs are way too big for the bottom too, so that might not be a good option. I thought it'd be cute to make it kind of a little bit of a shabby chic bathtub, and I could add some of these beautiful little royal, um, rose prints like this and add a beautiful rub on transfer that had some floral and cute like that wine corks. That's a great idea. But Debbie, I have some in stash. That's a great idea. Okay. Patricia says put the round on the bottom with a shabby chic look. Yeah. If I put some rhinestones somewhere in here, that would be really cute. Mushrooms either way. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to decide which one of these we're going to be doing for a pumpkin. I know for sure we're going to be doing the shabby sheet pumpkin wire pumpkin. Look in toys, Beverly. Oh, 
Beverly, that's a great idea. So what do you think I'm looking in toys for? Hmm. I'm in the boys section. That might not work. You like the mushroom idea? says, I agree with Patricia round in the bottom. How about crystal over the candle? Yeah. I'm looking at stuff like this. Y'all, this would be really cute to paint these and do a Pioneer Woman inspired Christmas tree. These are really cute even to do something with farmhouse because they're black and white. Oh, y'all, that's super cute. I looked in the candle area and didn't see anything. You could do a cute little shabby chic tree with those, with the teapots. Mm. Nope, they don't have any glass beads. No, but that's a cute, that might be a cute option too. I'm looking around. Use a little teacup for legs. They're too big. I'd need a bigger surface. Yeah, Tina, I need a bigger surface. Those little teacups, even though they're small, they're still too big. Oh, April, that's sad. I don't know why they did that. Facebook's not good sometimes. You know how it is. Oh. These are gonna be too thin. So that's not going to work for me. I'll have to keep looking. But you know what might have been kind of cute? Because these are small enough. If I was doing a Disney theme, I can make her on the edge of each little corner. Patrick would love that. Because you know he likes Disney. Mm, I'm still looking to see. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, so wood spindles. Yes, I think I'll check and see if I have the wood spindles. Uh, Barbie teacups. Oh, the Barbie teacups, okay. Like these. Is that the ones? That's not too bad. It's just they're too small to the ground, but those are kind of cute. Hmm. And then maybe use the tray somehow to go over the top of the bathtub. That's a great idea. Very creative. I don't want to use Jenga blocks because I want it to look a little different than a little more shabby chic, maybe. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more shabby chic. All right, girls. Well, thanks for the information. Again, I'm going to get off here and decide what I'm going to wind up getting. Um, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed all the ideas of what to do for making some pumpkins. And I want to see you guys. Tag me in it. Let me know that you've made some. And I'll be also making some of them as soon as I can, too. Oh yes, glue mold. Yes, I, I have some cute um, glue molds that I can embellish the outside of it with. So that's a that might be an idea too. I think I might do that as well. All right, friends, we'll catch you soon with our DIY ideas. Have a great Sunday.